Right then folks, so I don't know what's recorded at that because um, my GoPro is playing up. Let me show you what we've done on this job so far. I might start this as the intro maybe because um, I don't think I introed the video very well. Uh, we're at property, we're doing everything here at the moment. Um, lovely slate on the back which we're about to clean. These are slate tiles, I've never cleaned these before. Um, never even seen, no, no, I've seen a couple of them, but only in very small areas. This is not quite a large area of all slate, so very excited to see how that comes up in a minute. Um, clean this roof, this garage roof on the front. Um, there's probably need a bit of chemical on this, to be honest. It's, uh, and there was a bit that was hard to reach sort of around that corner, so I might try and blast some chemical straight on that. Uh, time at driveway is done. Obviously, I'll put all this stuff on screen in a time lapse or whatever in a minute. Um, lower roof there, also done point to it so you can see this one that one's done um bit at the front there's like a patio area at the front which we've done as well uh pass down the side which we'll put on the screen shortly as well and then finally um this thing now i've just done a test patch today i was originally going to do the entire thing harder than i thought it would be well i wasn't sure if i could even clean it so um i can that is confirmed let me show you what it is window cleaners may have well win window cleaners out there have definitely come across this especially if you're in the uk um, it's this oxidization, whatever the hell it is from the lead. So the lead sort of like bleeds and stains the glass. Um, as you can see, this is the one I've done, guys. Um, but it's on every single panel. Look, see all this? Every single panel. Actually, it's not too bad on this side. For some reason, it's mainly just on that side. That one's particularly bad. This one was really bad as well. I'll try and put a picture of what it was like before. Um, now, all those years ago when I was a window cleaner, and that was pretty much all I did, um, I was never able to tackle this. I never knew how to get it off. You can scrub it as many times as you want. If you squeegee, you can scrub it with a waterhead pole. It doesn't come off. Um, but what I've done is I've used some of this stuff, the good old pink stuff, um, and rubbed it in about 50 times with a cloth um, and then buffed it out, and it's managed to get rid of it. So uh, there's a tip, but it does take a while, guys. It takes ages. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes just to do one thick streak down this. Um, I mean, look at all this to do. So what I've said to the customer is, um, that's basically a test patch that's complete. So what we'll do, I'm going to leave it like a week or two because I don't know if that's going to come back um, quickly or not. So if it's been a week or two and it's still completely the same, perfectly fine. I'm going to get one of them, you know them like sander things, uh, buffer things that people use on cars when they're detailing cars. Put a sponge on the end and it spins around really fast. I'm going to buy one of them. Uh, and I think that will be the strategy to do it. So a bit of pink stuff on it and blast it out so there's the plan there let me just i'll give you a quick demonstration look. so let's say this bit for example here so you've got your squeegee you've even got a scrubber on the end but that's been pressing quite hard as well let me buff this out no difference literally you see zero difference at all now if we do this so get your cloth, get a, a bit of that on the cloth, and then start rubbing it off you my right hand guys. Start scrubbing in like this, circular motions, big scrub, big scrub. Now you're going to need to reapply it quite a few times for it all to go, but you can see straight away, and the majority is all start to disappear now. Get all a nice scrub, you can kind of feel it, it's like, Similar to like really bad lime scale, but it's just some sort of oxidization from the from the lead up there. I don't know if you treat the lead and that would stop it, I'm not sure. There's probably something that can prevent it, but so there we are. let's try to buff this out now. Appreciate it. it, might be a little bit hard for you guys to see on here. Now can you see that? Try and get a good angle for you as far around this way. No, that's probably worse, isn't it? There you are, there you can see, look, all gone. There is actually still a faint layer of it, but mostly gone. So yeah, I thought I'd just add that in there. Any window cleans out there that have struggled with this or customer asks, or you might want to put this to your customers, I would say definitely charge high for it though, because it takes a while. I mean, that looked quick, but you start getting up here when it starts to go a bit rainbow in the color. When it starts to go that rainbow color, that's the hardest part to get off so just take I mean that one took the previous one took me about six retreatments of it and about two minutes of scrubbing each time so there we are right let's crack on with this patio down here and I'll uh, try and video this for you
distances, especially especially for time as well. So, I'll, what I'll do is I'll look at this now and I'll go, let's see this the cool playground stuff, I'll probably go right. I'm going to line up with that wall there. Yeah. That's. I'm just going to focus completely oh, on this area. It. I'm not going to think about all of this yet. Yeah. I'm just going to focus on this. So when we start, basically I'll go. This is the sort of motion you want to be doing. Bringing it around. Circles like this. Right. You can sort of go up to the wall if you want. Do all these little circles like that. You yeah. sort of want to be going slow, so just with the with the movement of it. Yeah. Sort of like that. Making like figure of eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It'll be easy obviously on the machine. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just figure about it, so then we'll go all the way up to the top there. Yeah. Similar as if we were just walking up and down. Yeah. Um, but I'll do that with the figure about instead. Probably a little bit of a bigger radius, sort of like this. Yeah. And then same again, come down, do it, go up, do it, come down. And then at the end of it, it would just be like bloody mud everywhere. And yeah. I'll sort of do that with a little bit of the thing with it. Right. You can be a bit quick then because the area is clean, but yeah. I'm just doing that. Just to make sure if there's any, any lines anywhere that you're hitting sideways as well. Yeah, because if you're walking up and down, even though we've been doing the figure of eight, yeah. there might still be a bit of a line. So right. if you do that sideways afterwards, yeah. and that's the way I find it's best to deal with it because obviously it can be quite daunting. I mean, it's only a small area, but if it's yeah. a massive area, yeah. so you're thinking, oh, I've got to do this yeah. all day. Yeah. But if you just split it off into chunks, it's, it's, it's just mentally just a bit easier. Yeah. I'll do it then yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta make sure I get that on video, haven't I? <laughs> Thank you very much for that, mate. Thank you. <laughs>